This day has certainly been a long time coming for Jim Thorpe. We're talking about Jim Thorpe, the athlete. Today, on the 110th anniversary of Thorpe winning the Olympic decathlon, the International Olympic Committee has decided to reinstate a couple of his gold medals from 1912. Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustace has a reaction from the community in Carbon County named in his honor. Buried in this tomb at Jim Thorpe Memorial Park is the greatest athlete in the world, Jim Thorpe. And for the first time in more than a century, he'll stand by himself on the Olympic podium. The International Olympic Committee reinstated Jim Thorpe as the sole winner in the decathlon and pentathlon for the 1912 Stockholm Olympics. It makes us all feel great that somebody's like finally getting the, the respect that they deserve, you know, after working so hard to be a, an athlete and, and, yeah. make, and getting these medals. So, no, I feel, I feel really happy for him. I think it's great because he was, you know, he's an American hero, you know. To gain perspective on a sports scandal that happened over 100 years ago, we went to the experts right here at Mongchunk Museum. He was good at every sport, basketball, baseball, football, track and field. He even had a 200 average in bowling. Carlene Zack is the manager at the Monk Chunk Museum. She says Thorpe was stripped of his medal seven months after the games. The International Olympic Committee found out Thorpe was paid to play minor league baseball three years before the Olympics, which was a violation of the rules at the time. It was totally strict. You were not allowed to be a professional athlete in the Olympics until the 1980s. Zach said Jim Thorpe wrote a letter to the Amateur Athletic Union saying he played because he loved the sport, not for money. He wrote a really, we have a copy of the letter over here of uh, what he said. And, uh, you know, he, he apologized, and uh, but they took the medals. 29 years after Thorpe's death in 1982, the IOC gave duplicate gold medals to his family, but his Olympic records were not reinstated. The latest change comes after a petition advocated declaring Thorpe the outright winner in 1912. Up until now, the IOC had listed him as a co-champion in the official record book. People who live in the borough named after him say the announcement is long overdue. Uh, we're really proud to have his name because he was so good at every sport he tried. Yeah. I think he should be named the greatest athlete of the 20th century. A testament to the greatest athlete in the world. Amanda Eustace, Newswatch 16, Carbon County.